So I heard there's a new problem on the streets of Night City, and that's if if your save file goes over a megabytes, your save files are then corrupted. Always good, isn't it, to find out those kind of bugs? So, a new patch has come out. I'm going to once again try the Della main quests. Which have gone so swimmingly so far. So I've also was uh, given some tips too about the Delamain quests. And uh, if it ch like changes, uh, if it nerf it like, says it's it, uh, that they detect a cab in a different area to the one you're in, and just change the quest again, back to what it was. Maybe that'll work, I'm not sure. I mean, it's worth a try. Apparently the Delamain quest is good, so I would like to uh, be able to experience it myself. Maybe we'll get a nice reward for doing it too. If not, then just the cash would help. How do they instantly know that like, I've been given a, war uh, a warrant? For driving recklessly and possibly hitting somebody. It almost feels like Demolition Man, where you'll you'll do something, and then a little box next to you will come out and issue you a ticket. I mean, that would have been a fun addition if they added that into the game. Every time you swear, every time V swears, you get like a five. Uh, Credit fine. Five euro fine. And it tells you for vulgar language or whatever it said in Demolition Man. That was a damn good movie. I like that. Oh, which way? Uh, you were originally saying this way, so I'll go this way. How do you build? Looks like there's, there's cranes on top of that. Looks like they're building a, a new mega block. Or whatever that building is. I do like the fact that they, as they go up, they expand outwards. I think the Tudors used to do that. Is this the Glen? I'm not even sure the map will even tell me. Whenever it fucking decides to load up. So we're here. I wish you'd tell you. I wish there's like names on the fucking map of areas. Yeah, this is the Glen, okay. Pick up, bitch. A vehicle of mine went dark near your position. Fine, keep an eye out. For unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable to determine the precise location. Well, it's not going to be over there. Wait, it's giving me a line, okay. It's like she's telling me. Is that how it's supposed to work? I mean, it didn't work on the first one, I had to spot it. And then it gave it to me. Is it questive that way? Oh, is that a car I can buy? Okay, they should come here. Why the? Why did I just get a bunch of cash? Now get XP. 
Oh, for scanning things? Now I'm getting, now I'm getting street cred. What is going on? What's that? Well, that sounds interesting. I decided this was worth looking into, so I got a friend of mine to give me some satellite images of the area. Is that on purpose? Well, it's still not doing anything. And this is the Glen. If I change. Why won't you work for me? What do you have? Oh. oh okay. Hey, Del. How can I be of assistance? Uh, I found your missing car? Never really had a good chance to thank you for saving my skin. Well, of course. You're a valued member of the Excelsior package. Felt like more than a premium service to me. Thanks. What's it like for an AI in a world that runs on grey matter? Nothing extraordinary. It's a complex environment that follows its own set of rules. Seriously? Oh, the term I was looking for was chaotic clusterfuck. Perhaps only a true outsider can appreciate the beauty of its fractal architecture, the structure of life and death here. In my opinion, it is the chaotic elements that give it an advantage, the ability to evolve quickly. Don't see you as an outsider at all. It delights me to hear a human say that. I've done my best to assimilate. That's your goal, then? To grow and evolve? The world is a process. You never drive on the same road twice. Pardon the expression. You and I, we too are processes. We change as the world around us does. Admirer of beauty, are you? When you live among humans, it is essential to find a shared, fundamental point of understanding. Truth and good are values proven to cause division, whereas beauty is universal. How'd you wind up in Night City? I'm afraid my legal counsel has advised me not to answer questions of that nature. Uh, didn't mean to put you in a tight spot. Mind telling me at least how you came to run a cab company? Oh, this oh, well, that's no secret. I took over a failing business, implemented a sound strategy, and here I am now. Operating a fleet of taxis? Constant movement, adaptation, interesting characters. What could be better? Actually, gotta go. Of course. Goodbye. Oh my god, get the fuck out of the way! All the police after me. There we go. Fuck you, Delamain. Okay, so what quests can we actually fucking do? What was that? 
Oh, fuck. I don't know what happened there. Okay, so Judy wanted us to do this mission to meet up with Elizabeth. So we'll do that. Uh, we all level up. Are you V? Please step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales. Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. Okay. It was all over the news. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. As far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. What makes you think the cops got him wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on Our the chief BD. of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today. Or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. It's so creepy when they when they're talking. Uh, their mouths are moving, but they're like eh? they're doing like body language and stuff. As if they are talking. Super creepy. We shouldn't delay too long. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. VD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right, see what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things, alleviate lingering doubt. Now they just rob me and leave me in a ditch. <laughs> That's gotta happen at some point, right? Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. This guy that we're watching seems awfully uh, suspicious to me. Hold it! Stop right there!
Slow your roll. Re reward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prime, do it after the conference. Great. So another fucking death. Who goes scrolling every ass you see? Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Uh, switch my shift. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Out of practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any intersynapse zaps? Sure, bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. <laughs> you know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. Where's our dude? Oh, okay. Why is it not scanning? Damn it! There we go. They left literally seconds before the attack. Looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Yeah, how did how did the other guy not trigger the alarm? That's interesting. Slow your roll. River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in. Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. Cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. So how did this guy get through? Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah, but it could've. <laughs> could've chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly ass suit. Know that? Or just talking out your ass again? Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. This guy's got like robotic legs, like crazy robotic legs. And arms, like this guy's barely human, I imagine. It's cool. Yeah. Well, well. But his reward's like quite low. Just weird. No affiliation though. Um just wanna change the layer. Pretty. Prem, do it after the conference. <laughs> The tune. 
Don't recognize it. Tune. Woody's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. <laughs> He's really into it. Okay, we've got everything. How do we leave? How do we leave? Uh, do we just wait for it to get to the end then? How do I exit? Switch layer, playback mode, start, rewind, fast forward, play, pause. Hold F. Right. Uh, help me! Help me, somebody! Take off my goggles! I'm trapped in here! Shit. And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. It says exit the brain dance, but how do I exit? Like, I've forgotten what the button is, and uh, they've not given me a prompt. Has it fucked up? Am I bugged? Of course I'm bugged, why wouldn't I be bugged? Uh, fucking bugs I've had. Okay, so some people say press and hold X. There we go. No actual prompt to do so, but it does work. Good. Jesus Christ. The issues. Uh You're here. Fantastic. What have you got? Oh, another mission, okay. So, any thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Well, suddenly I'm really oh. fucking sure. I, I understand. We'll catch up soon. Oh, okay. I was crouched. Are you Jefferson? So, where were we? Now, where did we leave off? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? The whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? The conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. <laughs> that sort of thing. As far as I recall... The drop in Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. Sorry, drop? Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. Ha, huh, clever. Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy and his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Well, I think he's lying. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him, 
I'll put you in touch. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Mayor's Hustle. They NCPD? No. All handpicked by Holt. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Hopefully go in a fancy sky car. No oh, shit, not good. You should be used to this by now, V. Uh <laughs> This is a car you can buy. I mean it doesn't look look all that nice to me. It's kind of like one of those Delamain cars. Don't really want to be reminded of that punk. Is that even a car you can buy? What's with this? Oh. Oh, there is somebody in there. Yeah, I saw you. Try this Ripper Doc. Doc Rider. Yeah, if you get implants, your implants may want to kill you. That's a good advertisement. Excuse me, I will see the Ripper Doc. Thank you. Fuck you guys, you're in the way in West. Great. So, as I was saying, are you the Ripper Doc? You never got yourself chipped? Kind of like having a dentist with no teeth, isn't it? I have good rep. You won't hear any complaint about me. But why? Job would be a lot easier with some zoom capable Kiroshi optics. I'm sure it would. Until the day this planet gets hit by a massive solar flare. I'm talking about a geomagnetic storm that wipes out all live circuit systems, uh, implants included. So why would I get Kiroshi if sooner or later I just go blind? Well, what the fuck about me? You're so paranoid. Why are you chipping other people with Chrome? I like the job. Besides, nobody wants to hear the truth anyway. Mind taking a look at my Chrome? Sure. Make yourself comfortable. Jeez, this guy really fucking sells it. Ooh. 49 street cred. Jeez, I need 10 more. Wait. There's a bunch of different ones. 20 reflexes for that. So it's time by 30... 30%. 30 oh yeah.
This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Rhine. Wonder why? You're not a cop. I'm conducting a private investigation into this matter. Good luck with that. And do me a favor, lose this number. I like P.I.'s about as much as I like the scop in Caliente. Thought private eyes worked with cops all the time. And vice versa. Oh, they do. All the time. In New Hollywood. <laughs> so, since you're not a dick, who are you? Meet me. You'll find out. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, Stan. Wait, am I not private investigator? I mean, I'm investigating something, and I was privately hired. Pike, come to me. Pike? 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 What? Why? Why is the road smashed up? What? What did you do, Mike? Wait, why can't I switch the fucking camera? Jesus Christ! Let's get off the bike and get back on the fucking bike. There we go. I just got the Buffalo's Chubby fucking barbecue bar. I know. Well, the freezing up when you leave a vehicle still hasn't changed. Someone here to see you, looks like. Oh, wonder what about. Wanted to talk. You got a minute? You must be V. My partner, Detective Han. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? I don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice, as your friend. Just let the case go. You see me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. 
And you two at least find a quieter corner? Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. See, Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. He wanted to talk. For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. It's meant for to him. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? I mean, it sounds like it'll go to him anyway, but. Sorry, never give up the names of my clients. Well then, I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. Just covering my own ass. My own safety's at stake, too. So, before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. Liz Perales hired me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Con was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. I mean, ordinarily, you shouldn't just wander off in somebody's car. However, B will murder him if he tries anything. Oops, wrong side. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that? Because... You got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Shamed? No. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. And before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? Morales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? Who would? As I see it, Morales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? Dunno. But even if he's not, a murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? Guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Sorry, we? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? Uh... Let's go see his boss. Let's go see his boss first. Guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psycho-muting meds, too. You better check it out. Okay. What is going on? Are you all the brakes stuck on? I'm pressing the wrong pedal, mate. 
Suddenly I'm terrified to be in your car. <laughs> this is uh, bizarre. Dicky Twister. Haven't been there before. We there yet? Oh, thank God the brake sound's gone. Jeez. Suddenly my view's at an angle. V, get up! Stop leaning over! A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. To all those Bushido fanboys and girls out And the other 10%. You know the What's it consist Jake? of? Well, one fan girl is Writing reports. To look just like him. A dozen implants and Who's Stanley and where's he talking from? She's Jake 2.0. Apparently the actor doesn't mind, but the Come on. has cried foul of trademark infringement. With that kind of blowback, she better leave a glowing review for her Ripper doc. So who are we supposed to talk to? Cyber Psycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. Cherry Blossom Market. Oh, I've been here, haven't I? idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left and take the right. Fine. What is this? Oh, it's markers for the vendors. Okay. Uh, why can't I speak to you? Oh, now it works. You Christine Markov? We have some questions. You badges? Nope, not cops. Just looking for some intel. Everyone's always looking for something. At least I know where I stand with the cops. Other people. I'll open your mouth one day and corporal muscle or gangoon show up on your doorstep the next. Peter Horvath. Worked for you, right? Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. When did the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Pato, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. When the post jail Horvath versus the pre jail Horvath, gonks both, but completely different gonks. 
Horvath make good scratch here? Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where'd he get the eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. These speeches. What did he have to say? Ryan, if corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw, who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan, a madam president, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was a sunstorm. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Poor Voth had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. Sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Fuck off, Kitty Claws. V. Fuck off. Oh, I God damn it, V. Told you I'd handle it. These guys were cunts. And look, I got, I got some shit. It was worth it. Didn't that guy have a sword too? And there we go. Walking the streets with you, <laughs> downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? To be fair, good thing nobody got killed. I've got a bit of a hard on for move. fucking up tigers. I'll so. talk to my CI about your club, Red Queen's Race. Assuming you're still on board. You kidding? Gonna ride with me? Um, I guess. Sure, I'll ride with you. I'd rather be the one driving, cause you fucking shit at driving. Oh, thank God, it's fast forwarding through time. Diner now for me. Holy fuck, that's a cool car. That's like a Bugatti Veyron. How much is that? Oh, fuck you, I wonder how much that was. Why can't I just see? Why doesn't it just tell me on the fucking screen? There we go. It's this one? 157k? Holy fuck. That is a work of art. Okay, that's what I'm saving up for. 
My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell Maybe? him Igor says hi. He'll know what's about. He's your CI. Doesn't know me. Well, uh, last we met, it didn't go so well for him. The people he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. Who is this guy? A proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. All right. Wait here, then. Doesn't usually go well for people <laughs> who I have to get information from, either, so... Wait, we're going to run? Oh, wait. Yeah, because I'm checking out the car. We don't want to do that right now. Is there anything Judy would appreciate? Okay. <laughs> hmm. Didn't realize there would be uh, Star Trek sex toys in uh, the world of cyberpunk. You're looking for uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Uh, one second. I think you're a ghost lady. Looking for a club. Red Queen's race. If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Clouds in Japantown. Want an address. Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address. It means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. I said I was done. I was out. Ah, uh, they always run, don't they? Leave me the fuck alone, all I... of you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Guess we're going this way. Fuck. Hey, Neil. Get this off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Let's move. Let's go. Red Queen's race. Give us the address. We're gone. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers showed, broke all my fingers. Those with respiratory issues are in my... Fingers. I'll break limbs that'll make you forget all about those fingers. Start with your shins. Any idea how much that hurts? All right. Jesus. Chill, okay? It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Not telling you another fucking thing. Kiss my ass. Both of you. Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. I'm headed straight for Benita Street. Coming with? Ah! Oh, oh! Damn it. Okay. Good talk. Oh, would you try to talk to me? Sure. Thanks. I want to, <laughs> I want to hurt that guy. Orbital air. Oh. I need the cash. 
I got a beautiful car to show off to Judy. She'll appreciate it. She's in the tech, you know. Who's Judy? Oh, she's my bae. Nice chat. Wait, why aren't we fast forwarding? You gave me the false hope that we'd be fast forwarding to the place we're going to now. Can this thing go faster? Can I, can I take over and drive? Can I bail out the car? Damn, you put child locks on this? Oh, I can skip ride? Yeah, skip ride. He isn't talking anyway. Bonita Street, Night City Outskirts? Come on, V. Okay, now what? Animals turf. Any sly cop rules for talking to them? Scratch their tummies. Don't expose your throat. Ha fucking ha. We're short of warrant, so you're on your own. You find anything, tell me. Okay. Oh, a caco. Nazra race job? Oh, that's the, the bike. It's almost as expensive as the car. Um, I won. I thought the law to be back up. Anyway. Oh, that's just me hacking it. Okay. Deactivate that. Do a ping. Oh, hello. Fuck off. Are you still alive? Luckily for me, my eyes, I guess, are the reason why I can still see through being blind. By targeted enemies. I'm glad you guys like to run towards my bullets. Next thing's very easy. No need, these motherfuckers are pretty much all dead. We're getting too old for this. I was dead, okay. Do 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 what did you have for me? Hammer.
Well, that's fucked me, hasn't it? Oh, you're alive. I don't really want witnesses. Wait, what? Oh, that's below. Why do we have fire? That's really weird. Oh yeah, there's a camera over there. Wait, there's something here? Oh, coffee. Find a way into the club. Neil doesn't tend to lie. So the clubs are out here somewhere. In the garage is my guess. Or under it. This gotta be a pretty dodgy club that they're hiding, eh? Oh, Thornton. Got your uh, car manual. Where you could have snuck in. Wait, that's an Arasaka case. Surely we would take a look in there. combat with
I guess it's not got anything on it. Get away! Where? Oh, it's inside. Where the fuck is it? Let's go anywhere. I guess look inside here and scan. Ah. What kind of fucked up club will this be? Come on, I'll give you a kiss. Great. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one. Incapacitate? Okay, I can do that. Dude. Shooter, smasher! Don't worry, I'm just gonna read this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, cash. You see that shit? <laughs> this is all bending shit. So you have no idea who you're dealing with. You're lucky I'm with a cop. Otherwise, I would have sliced you up into little fucking pieces. Hey. Hey! You don't look like a fucking animal, mate. Who the fuck are you? You just a poser. We're oh shit. Ah. Yeah, I took down your tombs. I gotta do the talking? You're the detective. But I don't have a, a warrant, right. Fuck me, I have to do everything. Huh? Oh, there's somebody up there? Uh your man stand here. I didn't see the camera anywhere. Oh you're up there. There we go.
Oh, you're in there? Lucius Ryan, recently deceased mayor of Night City. He was here the night he died? Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. No fucking idea. But hey, you might be here the day you die. Joking. <laughs> Okay. Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clap here. We ain't watching it for fucking waiting. For what? Till they send us the scrap for a job well done. Smashed it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit. Time for the payup. Who'd you smash it up for? Ugh. What's it to you? Not be able to speed up your payment? The fuck I look like to you? Someone who'd swallow scop like that? Wanna buy this dump? Turn it into something real elegant and preem. Little hard with you sitting here though, isn't it? So. I wouldn't mind speeding your transaction on its way. First, though, gotta know who owes you. Well, did hope! Lucius Ryan's right hand bull terrier? Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election? Right, fuck it for the job! Thanks for the help. Hmm. Okay. I'll take your weapon, though. There's another one. Oh, it just takes us here. I wasn't floating, I've always floating. The office has got to be up here somewhere. Like here. Looks like an office. Sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Oh, okay. No! God damn it. What were they watching?
Thanks for leaping into action back there. No problem. You feeling okay? <sighs> Alive. What was that, V? You ask me? Wasn't a heart attack that killed Ryan. Yeah, as I said from the start. But... So it spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. I think you could be right. Come on, V. Shit. But it kind of serves us right to be like putting things on that connect our brain in some random fucked up place. Let's check that computer. Me, he's been dead at least an hour. No, no trauma cut. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. So I'm not sure if it's Hope responsible for it or if he just was doing his job and covering it up but we've now got the dirt for our employer weird guy looks familiar doesn't he me i'm not in the mood for jokes i think we've seen everything we needed to Let's go. Okay, let's Delta. I think I saw another way out on the way in. Yeah, we went through it. Uh, are we in? Oh, we're in his car. Okay. Fuck. Still hanging around with this punk? Shot it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about oh, it was him, not Holt. It up. Okay. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just want to know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. I know the game NC makes you play. Know the rules. All the tricks in the book. So you ought to know when to get in line. And when you can stick your neck out. Because you stick it out at the wrong time, and there'll always be some shark ready to bite your head off. There's a line. Not every order's worthy of being followed. Let me tell you when I'll stop doing what I'm told. 
when I retire. Not a day sooner. Ought to consider doing the same, Ward. V. Appreciate the help. But this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So, since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights, though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Han was right, sort of. He was just following orders. Even if he ends up paying for it, the system won't change. I can't let it go, V. I can't, and I won't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Also think it was Holt. The only one who stood to gain. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Maybe you should just let me handle it. Let's move. Let's go. Don't do it. They'll sack you, or worse. Besides, won't change a thing. Could be right, you and on. But I couldn't give a shit what you two think. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Rhine. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. Yeah, sometimes it's a little hard to know what the context is in what you're about to say. So when I said don't, it's because I don't want him to get killed, which is like what I think will happen if he if he does do it. But it could just be like, oh, don't do that. Like he, the guy deserves it or anything, for all you know, as you say it. So it's a tricky one to know what option to choose, because just like Mass Effect. Well, more Mass Effect 2, I think it was, where oftentimes it gives you something what you think it's going to say and doesn't always say it. Whoops. Wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. 
Jesus. Tell you one thing. I'm listening. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. If I don't give them something, they're not gonna pay me. We'll manage without that. There's no sense in which you gotta eat. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. <laughs> See, Johnny! See, Johnny, you are starting to understand me. We are bonding. <laughs> Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Yourself playing piano? Seems kind of worthless. Uh, your TV's on the fritz. So this is how rich people live in Night City. And of course, they're politicians. People who apparently serve the people always somehow become so rich from it. And then funny enough, Please have a seat. laws and, and things like that get passed that benefit the rich somehow. And then it's such coincidence that the politicians become rich too after helping rich people get richer. Hmm. But it's just a coincidence. Thank you. It's not that they're, they're all massively corrupt or anything like that. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. If they try anything, I just kill them anyway, so. Hundred percent clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But yeah, I got some idea. Is everything all right? Murdered by BD. I mean, yes, true. But fuck it. I think Weldon Holt was behind Ryan's death. I knew it! You got any proof? I don't. Just strong suspicions. That's all we need to know, Jeff. We have to be careful. Keep a close eye on Holt and up our security. You're right. As always, you're right. Thanks for your help, Fee. Your Fee. Wait, we're not going to tell him about the BD? Uh You two watch out for each other. What's with the lack of information there? Hey there. Now, where did we leave off? Now they'll try and dispose of me, I imagine.
Is that supposed to be a blurry mess? No one's trying to kill me? Huh. Maybe we should go back to Judy, because Judy asked us about that mission? Where is Judy? Fuck. Went the wrong way. <laughs> I was hoping I could drive over the car then. Ah oh, no. No! Damn it. If we've run far enough away, we should be able to uh, get the vehicle back. For some reason my fucking bike won't come back. Maybe steal a car. This car didn't even have anybody in it. Uh, maybe it did. <laughs> what? Hey! Could you get out of my face? I didn't, I didn't want to share the car with you. No! Ugh. Wait, you got a robot arm? Get out of it! Get away! No, this is my car now! Or, or at least I, I just need it until I get back to duty. Then you can have it back. Oh my god. I can't see your hair's in the way. Do have a look around the area. I lost contact with the Delamain network vehicle nearby. That's better. Oh, 
Well, thank you for letting me share your car. Not really sure how that was possible, but thank you. And before you ask, no, you weren't wearing clothes. Heard there was some trouble in Japantown at the parade. What'd you hear? Corporals opened fire. Civilians were killed. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of my fault. <laughs> Don't ask me how, but the second I heard, I knew you were involved. Just wanted to talk to Hanako. Things went a little sideways from there. Dealing with corpse? What did you expect? What else is going on besides that? Ah, uh, you know, same old. Rather hear where you've been up to. Okay, he's so gonna go to Judy to uh, talk about stuff. Oh my god, turn off the bloody radio, Judy. Okay, so I can't kill Judy's radio. Oh, 